and it asks you the question do you ha have one to sell do you have one to sell and if of course you have the book at the, I have this book book right in front of me and so all I have to do is sell sell yours here I just click on that and it brings me to a page that says please verify that this is the exact item you want to sell now this is the this is the item that I want to sell I have everything all the information is here so I match it up with the exactly what I have and the first thing you need to do is select the condition of your item now the book that I happen to have in front of me happens to be almost perfectly brand new very lucky the dust jacket which is the little paper surrounding the hardcover book is in perfect condition the uh, the book itself has no marks in it it has no you know if it had any writing in it or anything I just kinda scroll through it and see uh, there's nothing like that in the book uh, it looks perfectly intact so I'm gonna select condition is new and I'm just gonna say perfect condition uh, near new as you can get so I just put a little description in there um, you know I don't there's nothing really wrong with this book whatsoever so I'm gonna put it like in uh, like uh, brand new condition just a little note to let people uh, get uh, you know have a little more confidence in my description now I'm just gonna click continue and uh, <clears throat> we want to enter a price for the item now as we've already seen there's a lot of uh, books here at f there's 14 news books here starting at twenty two dollars and ninety two cents so what I want to do if I want to sell it really fast all I have to do is list it for a dollar less so I'm gonna list it at twenty one ninety two so anybody going to uh, Amazon who wants a copy of a used book and they want to save some money they're going to pick probably the lowest one as long as it's you know like a brand new book they're definitely going to want to pay the lowest price possible so I, I undercut that by one dollar if I get really aggressive and I want to be aggressive on this one I'm gonna say I'm gonna list it for two dollars less than the than the cheapest one that they have because it only cost me a dollar fifty in a garage sale so I'm gonna sell it for twenty twenty dollars and ninety two cents I make a quick eighteen dollar profit uh, there is a credit now Amazon what it does is they give you a credit for three dollars and ninety nine cents um, and you can select whether or not you want to ship overseas or not it's up to you so you have to let them know that if you go if you want to ship internationally uh, and it's easy to do because all you have to do is package up the books and you know go to the bookstore and do a you know international shipment air mail is the cheapest so you can just do that for international shipments or and if you wanted to um, uh, select ex expedited shipping that's like you know uh, in the United States anyway that is like um, priority mail so all you have to do is if you want to add that as an option so people can order you select that now these are probably a good idea if you are going to sell the book at all because many people want expedited shipping they want it sent to them right away uh, international shipping is also a great option because a lot of people will buy your books from other countries so I always select those two I'm gonna click continue now if you don't have an Amazon marketplace um, uh, uh, account you have to set one up or if you do not have an Amazon account you have to set one up now if you've got an Amazon account all you have to do is enter your email address that you set up now if you don't have an account all you have to do is uh, they'll probably have some there's a link here that you can learn about Amazon payments here you can just go ahead and, and do that and then set yourself up with an account it's very easy there's really nothing to it okay so I just entered my password in here and I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and what you get is a page basically that just says hey um, you know here's all the information just just double check it to make sure that you are you know entering everything correctly if you need to edit it you can click on this link over to the right it says edit otherwise all you have to do is click the submit your listing page and you are done now your book is for sale on amazon.com 
It says, congratulations, your product is now listed for sale at Amazon Marketplace. Now, let me tell you how easy it is to sell these stuff. Um, my son, who just graduated from college, has a couple of textbooks that he wanted to list in Amazon. Now, textbooks on Amazon, okay, a college textbook. You, think, you didn't think that would sell. I didn't think it would sell. But he listed it. Um, I mean, this is a very expensive textbook. I know I used to pay, you know, I pay for his college. Uh, textbooks are very expensive. They go anywhere from like $50 up to $500 for a single book. And this one happened to be pretty expensive. He listed it for 90 bucks. He sold it within 15 minutes. That's how easy it was. So this is the number one way. If you have absolutely no experience online, you don't know how to sell anything, and you just don't, you know, you just want to eliminate the hassles of doing anything else except making money. This is the easiest way to do it. And, I, and I'll give you some hints now. The best ways to find books are in library sales. The li your local public library many times removes old books in order to replace them with newly published books that they have to fill the library with. And a lot of times they will sell those old books very inexpensively, 10 cents, 50 cents, a dollar at the most. And you can go in and simply pick up boxes of books and pay maybe $20 for 100 books or so and carry them home and start putting them on Amazon. And, you sh and I sh just showed you how easy it is to do this. Within five seconds, we had a, a, a listing on Amazon that we could sell this book. Now, it's very important uh, that you, as soon as you sell a book, that you communicate with the buyer. They will send you an email. Uh, Amazon will send you an email that you sold the book. And you send an email to the customer saying, hey, I received your order. Thank you very much for your order. I will get this out within 24 hours and then make sure that you package up your book nice and tight in a bubble wrap mailer um, or you can put it in a small box or something like that so the book does not get damaged when you send it to the buyer and then immediately take it to the post office what happens is when the buyer receives the book as long as it's in the it's in the condition you said it was in uh, and he received it in a very you know good time frame he received it pretty quick he will leave you positive feedback and that helps you sell more books on Amazon the other places that you can find uh, books are um, used bookstores believe it or not used bookstores are a great place to buy books that you can sell on Amazon a lot of times you'll have a bargain bin or an area of the store where they're discounting books very very heavily I wouldn't buy one right off the shelf unless I knew it was you know a very valuable book and you can check the prices of books on Amazon to get a feel for uh, what sells and what the prices are and so forth. But normally, a uh, used bookstore, if it's any kind of size at all, will have one area where they have a huge discount on a couple of different books. And that's a great place to pick up some books cheaply. Another great place to get some books cheaply is through garage sales or yard sales or tag sales, whatever you call them in your community. When you ride around town, if you see a garage sale or a yard sale or a tag sale, just stop by. Sometimes I've, I've picked up unbelievable numbers of books. I picked up hundreds of books at garage sales for a dollar a box, and there might be 20 or 30 books in there. I've easily come back, put them on Amazon, and sold them for hundreds. Um, in fact, one time I picked up an entire library of somebody's private collection of books, almost 3,000 books for 500 bucks. I sold just about 20, 20 of those books, got my entire uh, uh, investment back just in 20 books because some of those were actually rare and, and some of them were quite expensive books. All the rest of the books are free money. So this is a great way to do it. Um, you don't have to make an, a huge investment. You can make a very small investment, and um, you can start actually with no investment at all just by taking books off your bookshelf and converting them into cash. All right, let's go to the second best way to make money online right now.